Hi guys, welcome to another interesting news. Going outside Nigeria today, a Mahatman federal jury has found the former US President Donald Trump sexually abused writer E. Jane Carroll in a luxury department store dressing room in 1996. The jury subsequently awarded her $5 million for battery and defamation, CNN reports. Carol had sued Trump, saying she was raped by the former president after she accompanied him into a department store fitting room in 1996. Carol told jurors that Trump's lie that he didn't rape her had, had shattered her life. At first, she thought helping Donald Trump shop for a woman's lingerie gift at a luxury department store would be simply a funny New York thing. Even when, according to Carol, the then businessman motioned her to a dressing room as they dared each other to try on a see-through bodysuit, she imagined something like a Saturday Night Live sketch she'd, she'd written. But within minutes, my only reason for being alive in that moment was to get out of that room. Carol had testified in the trial of a rape lawsuit as earlier reported by AP News. I am here because Donald Trump raped me and when I wrote about it, he said it didn't happen. He lied and shattered my reputation and I'm here to try and get my life back, Carol told jurors. From afar, Trump repeated his insistence that Carol's allegation of 1996 rape is a utter fiction writing on a social media site that the case is, is a made-up scam and more. This is a fraudulent and false story, which aunt Trump wrote on his Truth Social platform. His comments prompted George to warn Trump's lawyer that he could bring more legal problems upon himself. Carol alleged that after raping her, Trump defamed her when he denied her claim and suggested she made up the story to boost sales of her books. Trump denied all wrongdoings. Carol filed the lawsuit last November under the New York State Adult Survivor Act, a state bill which opened a, a look-back window for sexual assault allegations like Carol's with long-expired status of limitation. Trump did not attend the trial. Like any defendant in a civil case, he was not required to appear in court for trial or proceedings and has a right not to testify in his own defense. Carol left the courthouse after the verdict with speaking to reporters. Trump on a social media site Truth Social called the jury verdict a total disgrace and said it was continuation of the greatest witch hunt of all time. He insisted that he did not know who Carol was. George Lewis Kaplan dismissed the jury after the verdict and informed that they are now allowed to identify themselves publicly if they choose. The judge suggested they remain silent. My advice to you is not to identify yourself, not now and not for a long time, Kaplan said. If you are one who elects to speak to others, to identify yourself to others, I direct you not to identify anyone else who sat on this jury. Each of you owes that to the other, whatever you decide for yourself. I am not settling a political score, Karut said during a testimony. I am settling a personal score because he called me a liar repeatedly and it really was decimated my reputation. I am a journalist. The one thing I have to have is the truth of the readers. Carol's attorney, attorney Michael Ferrara asked why she didn't go public with her allegation when Trump first ran for president. I noticed that the more women who came forward to accuse him, the better he did in the polls, she said. Trump attorney Joe Takupina, during cross-examination, repeated asking Caro why she did not scream during the approximately three-minute alleged attack. I am not a screamer, Caro responded. I was too much in panic to scream. You can't beat up on me for not screaming, she told the defense lawyer. Women who don't come forward, one of the reasons they don't come forward is they ask why they, don't, they didn't scream. 
Some women scream, some women don't. It keeps women silent. Donald Trump videos this position that was played before the jury at a civil battery and defamation trial has been made public. In the video, Trump confirms that he made the allegedly defamatory statement denying knowing Carol, calling her allegation that he raped her in the Bechdorf Goodman's dressing room in the mid 1990s a, a wax, and saying she is not his type. He also tells Carol's attorney that she too is not his type, and many times during the deposition, he calls Carol a series of names including not job, a work job, and mentally ill. The judge advised Carol and Donald Trump not to identify uh, themselves and not now and not for a long time. If you are one who elects to speak to others and to identify yourself to others, I direct you not to identify anyone else who sat on this jury. Each of you owes that to each other, whatever you decide for yourself. Carol, during her testimony, said she was not settling a political score and she was settling a personal score because Donald Trump called her a liar repeatedly and it really has decimated her reputation. She said, I am a journalist and the one thing I have to have is the, is the trust of my readers. Carol, Carol's acronym, Michael Ferrara, asked why she didn't go public on her allegation when Trump first ran for president. Carol said she noticed that the more women who came forward to accuse him, the better he did in these polls. Donald Trump's attorney, Joe Takupina, during cross-examination, repeatedly asked Carol, Carol why she did not scream during the approximately three-minute alleged attack. Carol said she was not a screamer and she was too much in panic to scream. She also said the attorney cannot beat her up for not screaming. She also told the defense that women do, don't come forward and one of the reasons why they don't come forward is that they are asked why they, why they didn't scream. Some women scream, some women don't. It keeps women silent. Donald Trump confirms that he made the allegedly defamatory st statement denying knowing Carol, calling her allegations that he raped her in a Bedford Goodman dressing room in the mid-1990s in Oax and says she is not his type. He also tells a lawyer that she too is not his type and many times during the deposition he called Carol a series of names including a nut job, a work job and a mentally ill person. That was Please don't forget to let us know your opinion via the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And I will see you on the next news. Bye for now.